Hey guys, Link here of Time 550, and so today I'd like to show you guys the Ocarina of Time 3D not for resale demo cartridge. So basically, this was given out to certain game stores like uh, GameStop, for example. They had little demo 3DS that you could play this on. Um, this isn't really rare, although it has become a lot harder to find in the recent years. This one I paid like 17 bucks for. So not crazy expensive, but you know. For a demo, it's kind of pricey. Basically, this was in those stores to show uh, consumers if they want to buy the full game, like the entire game of Ocarina of Time 3D. But um, they didn't just like black out certain areas for you. Um, they didn't just like copy over the full game from here to here. Um, they actually got rid of all the areas that they didn't need, except for. Well, I wouldn't say a couple. There's actually quite a few areas that they did decide to keep, and quite a few that they didn't. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys every single area in this demo that crashes the game, and if it is not mentioned in here, whatever location you're thinking of, then it will not crash the game. But if it is mentioned, then it does crash the game. Now the way that I'm doing this is through glitches, and I made a little NTR plugin um, of cheat codes that I found on fort42.com and I compiled them into an NTR plugin, which I'll leave a download link for in the description. And if you guys um, found any sort of areas that I missed, please be sure to comment them uh, down below, and then you know I'll test them out, and if they do crash the game, then I'll put them in the description. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get into it. Yeah, so there's one thing I forgot to mention. So I, I ended up getting a new 3DS XL, because with my old one, I shell-swapped it um, into a Smash Bros case and I replaced the screen and so yeah I basically replaced a bunch of other stuff because uh, a lot of things were actually broken if you look here this little piece is in here which it's supposed to be if you look over here there's a hinge piece that's not there so yeah I had a couple things broken with it but sadly after repairing it I think I either damaged the speakers or the speakers were already damaged because this is what happens. The screen gets really bright and just turns off, so. Yep, sadly it's a lost cause. So I ended up just buying a new 3DS. Now, on the bright side, this allows me to wirelessly stream, so you'd think that I'd get better video quality. However, when I actually tried wirelessly streaming with this, after I got it, I hacked it, all that, everything went fine. However, when I tried using NTR Viewer, everything seemed fine. But then, when I went to OBS, I was barely getting 3 frames per second, so... Sadly, I'm just gonna have to stick to putting a camera in front of a 3DS like this. So I hope you guys don't mind with that uh, video footage I just felt. It kind of needs an explanation. Um, you know, more reason to why my video quality is always so bad, so... That's what I just like to mention. So yeah, guys, anyways, on to the demo cartridge. Okay, guys, so I figured, first off, before I actually you know, just show you the gameplay footage. I'd like to show you guys about the um, NTR plugin that I made, so if you do decide to download it, please know that you will need custom firmware and also boot NTR selector if you're on the latest firmware. So that's basically just what I use. And then uh, put the file on the root of your SD card and then you should be fine. So I like to use 3.5 just because it's the latest and, you know, has a lot of the more recent features. So then you just go right into it. And bang, now we have the uh, cheats installed. So, for the um, first location we're going to be going to is the Sacred Forest Meadow. And there are two places in there that actually crash the game. Um, so I guess actually before I do that, I should mention that uh, here it is. Here's a little cheat thing that I made. Um, like I said, I didn't entirely make it like I took all the cheats that I could find on um I took all the cheats I could find on Fort 42 and I basically just put them into the uh Gate Shark 2 NTR converter and I basically went from there so thankfully there's a moon jump code and that's what allowed me to get to a lot of these areas so unless you're using this plugin then uh there's not a whole lot that would really you know go out here one thing that actually is interesting is that a lot of the Lost Woods, actually every loading zone of the Lost Woods is here, 
I haven't tested every single loading zone, but even the ones that take you back to the Kokiri Forest work fine. Um, and you can get the uh, upgraded bullet seed bag, because uh, they just start you off with the one that gives you 30. So, I'm going to just go here to the Sacred Forest Meadow, as I said before. I'm pretty sure it's straight from here, isn't it? Yeah. And then left. And then up. Yeah, right. So, like I said, if I don't mention a location, then that, then, then that, I can't even speak, then that means that it does not crash the game. So the first location that does crash the game, the very first one on the list here, is, oh, I missed it, <laughs> is this fairy fountain grotto right here. This one does crash the game, so, whoa, don't do that. <laughs> so yeah, be careful about that. And also, the other location over here that crashes the game is the uh, forest temple over that way, so. Yeah, I guess I'll show you that real quick. <laughs> Even though you guys are already probably know what the forest temple is, just in case. I'm gonna go this way. See so yeah, how the forest temple up there does crash the game. Okay guys, so here we are in Hyrule Field. And so now, there are three locations that I know of that crash the game. Now I did test... Actually, yeah, I did test every loading zone, including Garados. Um... The only ones that I didn't test were like in the Lost Woods, you know how they have like a ton of different ways that'll just send you back to the beginning. I didn't test all those, um, but I'm assuming that they all don't crash the game, so. Yeah, the first location that crashes the game in Hyrule Field is, sadly enough, Hyrule Castle, so we can't really do a whole ton there. Or, Hyrule Castle Town, I guess. Anyways, going through this loading zone will crash is what I'm trying to say. And then, not that one actually. Uh, Lon Lon does not crash the game. I was about to go there. But there are some places in Lon Lon that, don't, that do crash the game. Yeah, there's a grotto over here under this rock, and this one crashes the game, which is kind of weird. It makes me kind of wonder what was actually under it, because I hardly ever checked any grottos in the original. So, uh, yeah, so now that we got those three, I guess I can actually just move straight on to uh, what's next, which is Lon Lon Ranch. Now there are three more locations in here that do crash the game. Um, I think there is actually a grotto here, but I'm pretty sure I already checked that one. So these two doors here, they crash the game. And lastly, the mill in the back crashes the game. So if you go through there, then your game will crash. Although I didn't expect it to, but these, if you go over here, it doesn't crash the game. It'll just take you back to Hyrule Field, but this does. So, let me show you here that this does not crash the game. The loading zone is here. And it just takes you back here, as you'd probably expect. So, next up we have Kakariko Village, or Kakiriko, I guess, as we always called it in my family. Okay, so here we are going to Kakariko. And now there are quite a few places in Kakariko. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, I think, locations in total. Um, I'm going to just go through them in the order that I made with my list. So, first off, this house crashes the game. Uh, both entrances, the crack in the wall up there, and the, uh, the door over here crash the game. Um, next up also does the Skaltula house, or Skaltula house, however you say it. And the bottom of the well also does. You can get to that actually using glitches during the daytime. Um, and then also if you go, let me turn on moon jump here. So this door right here crashes the game that goes inside the windmill. And now, I'm gonna actually skip that one and wait for the last. So then also, the uh, potion shop does crash the game. It's weird because those, that house right there, both entrances do not crash the game. So, the last one that I said I'm going to wait for is the archery. Now you might be wondering, how did I get to it, you know, since this is the uh, Chow Link version of Kakariko Village. 
And now, in case you don't know, I'm going to try my best to show you here, which I'm not having a lot of luck. Let me get rid of Navi first. Yeah, as you saw, there was the door was there. And the loading zone is actually there too, even as a child link, which I find to be a little weird, but it's there. Now if I can just if I can just do this without messing up. Yep, there it is. So you might be wondering actually, how did I know that it crashed in the game? Like I had to have some way of entering it, right? That it's correct, actually. So what I did was I went right to where the door was. Oh, the demo's over. <laughs> Anyways, let me just tell you what I did. So, I went to where the door was and I took a picture of it. And I, um, after I did that, um, then I just used the Moo Jump code to hover out of bounds. And it took me a long time. It took me like three or four tries to get it. But the archery does crash the game. Okay, so I figured I'd show you guys what I did here um, to actually get to the archery, to the loading zone for it. So now this was kind of a pain, and I don't even know if I'll be able to do it now, to be honest. But I'm gonna try. Like, I don't think I'm gonna get it, but I figured I'll try to show you, at least in case you're wondering, how I did it. So, I backed off here, and I slowly just floated over to the archery, to where that little door was. And I'm not sure if I'll get it. And if I do, that would actually be kind of cool, but it might maybe not be so cool. And I just float up. And I was a little past it, but you see what I did. That's basically what I did. So if you have the demo, and you have, you know, custom firmware, then you can test that if you really don't believe me. But anyways, moving on to the next area, the graveyard. So in here, we have four-ish different areas reason why I say 4-ish is because one of them involves a lot of loading zones. So the first one that I checked crashes the game is if we go over here, all the way to the back, nearly. The royal family's tomb does crash the game, as well as, I did check actually every grave. Um, you know, I think there's four different graves that you can go down. I checked all of them, they all crash the game. Same with uh, Dampe's Hut, or Dampy. I don't know how you say it. Honestly, like, there's a lot of controversial sayings in here, like, that people don't, that people are really, like, you know, crash you know, over on how to say it. And lastly, the Shadow Temple crashes the game as well. Alright guys, so moving on to the next area, we are headed off to Death Mountain Trail. <clears throat> So there are two locations here in Death Mountain Trail that actually end up crashing your game. Uh, one of them being Dodongo's Cavern, which is kind of sad for me just because that means that we cannot actually do the uh, credits work glitch, which is a little bit of a shame for me, but you know what, whatever. Um, also, there's some parts later on that I mentioned that certain things don't work, but yeah, Dodongo's Cavern right here does crash the game, sadly enough. And, um, uh, I'm probably gonna get hit and mess this up, but I'm gonna try my best to float up to the top of Death Mountain here without being hit. And <laughs> I got hit. So I think I'm just gonna try and go on over here. And hopefully enough I'll land on a solid piece of ground. Hey, I did it. So, yeah, next. Also, the fairy fountain does crash the game, which is another reason why we can't really do it. Um, but Death Mountain Crater here does not, which I would do next, since it's, you know, right here. But that part is probably one of the most interesting parts of this demo that I figure I'll save for uh, later. Also, I guess it's kind of, I'm kind of glad that I did that. That's actually kind of, that's weird, that was not 10 minutes. I think I heard somewhere that this demo lasts 10 minutes, but anyways, so see you guys in the next location. Hey guys, so here we are at the next location, which is Zora River. Now, I'm just now realizing that there's a shortcut that I could have taken. You know what it is, in the Lost Woods, one of my earlier videos. But, uh, so I guess maybe it is kind of nice that I went this way, 
since we're going to be going up instead of you know, going from the other way. So, oddly enough, um, that grotto is fine, but this grotto crashes it, which is kind of weird since they're two right next to each other, but I don't know. And lastly, <clears throat> as you probably expected, Zora's Domain does crash the game. Um, even though there's not really a way to get Zelda's lullaby, even if you either are using cheats or if you find some sort of clip behind the waterfall, um, still there's no way to actually get in there since it crashes, so, yep. Yeah, so here we are coming up on our next stop in our quest to crash this game. Um, I actually did forget to mention one, I'm pretty sure. It was Lake Hylia, or Lake Hylia, however you say it. That also does crash the game. And, as you may or may not know, Death Hole does not actually work in this, because, um, even if you use cheats to give yourself bombs, you know, because you're not able to go to the Dodongo's Cavern, even if you do use cheats to get bombs, you can probably do Death Hole, I haven't tried it yet. You can most likely do it, but it's just if you press start, nothing happens, so. Now, there are two locations in here, actually, that crash the game, one of them being if you fall into the river down here, then that will lead you to Crashville, since that's like Hylia. And the Carpenter's Tent right over here. Which I cannot really show you, but um, oddly enough, if you come here as a child, um, you can go to the Carpenter's Tent if you just like go to the edges if you go to the edge of those boxes and then just backwalk for the most part. I'm pretty sure that gets you to the Carpenter's Tent, and that does crash the game, too. So, now, I'm not sure how much... Um, how much time left I have in the demo, since I just went from Zora River to here. So probably not a lot of time, but I'll try to just get uh, Gerudo Fortress here done. So, I haven't tested every single one, but pretty much, as far as I tested, every entrance in here, I only tested two of them, but since they all kind of lead to the same area. Every entrance crashes the game, including the Gerudo's training grounds. And so, I think I'm actually just gonna wait for this to time out the demo since it's probably gonna be over in like a minute when I'm trying to film Haunted Wasteland stuff, so I'll be back in a second for Haunted Wasteland. One thing that I'm not sure that's actually in the real game is, um, can these Gerudo guards can they actually go and uh, catch you? Because in the demo, they can. And I'm not sure if that's a demo-only type thing. Um, so, yeah, I was just wondering. Also, uh, why have I not... Oh, dang it, I'm gonna have to zone out. Um, I guess this is good enough time. So, I haven't really um, actually recorded any of them yet. I've just kind of been doing them. But I've been doing Ocarina of Time 3D NTR runs just kind of on my own. Um, as far as I know, I'm the only one really doing them. Now, the original route that I took was I'd beat the Spirit Temple, or I'd do my own Dwarf Time Skip that I found with, uh, I don't know how you say his name still. What is it? Nan Quietus? Uh, I'll put his name on screen. I'm sorry, I really don't know his name, how to say it. Um, but basically I was using his uh, NTR plugins, uh, for the speedruns, and I actually came up with some kind of interesting skips and whatnot. My original route, I was pretty much just, uh, I was basically just doing Door of Time skip, uh, doing Spirit and Shadow Temple, then I'd get the Bow of Light and then go to Ganon. But then I started following the normal, uh, current speedrun world record route, um, of just doing a credits warp into Dongo's Cavern. So if you guys have any strange sort of wrong warps or whatever for me to try out in this demo, definitely put them in the comments or make a video response or whatever. Um, I'd love to hear them. And so, that's basically the backstory of how I made this path for the uh, Haunted Wasteland. It's because I was doing Ocarina of Time 3D and TR runs. And as far as I know, I don't think anybody else has done them. But yeah, I think I managed to get it down to like 24 minutes since they also have a move fast code in his plugin, 
And so that allowed me to do a couple of skips that you can do, zone out in certain cutscenes. It was really funny. Some of the parts just looked really dumb. So hopefully I'll see this in time before I zone out. So I'm going to just start hovering here just to be safe. Um, actually, as far as I know, nowhere in the Haunted Wasteland crashes the game. Unless there's any sort of grotto or something like that that I maybe didn't know about. But other than that, as far as I know, nowhere in the Haunted Wasteland crashes the game, even if you um, fall in the sand or get lost. Um, I don't think any of those crash the game. It is just in the Desert Colossus here that crashes the game. So, hopefully... I have made it, and I didn't just get lost, which I really hope happened. <laughs> yeah, I made it. Okay, so, I tested all loading zones in here. Um, I can't remember if there are any grottos in here. I think there might be. So there could be more areas in here that crash, that end up crashing the game. <laughs> um, one of the areas in here is the fairy fountain right over here that gives you Nehru's love. That crashes the game. And all three entrances to the Spirit Temple crashed the game. Although, oddly enough, the cutscene... Right, scenes... so sorry for... about that. My uh, SD card ran out of space on my phone's camera, so... Yeah, that's basically why, you know, it just turned off. Anyways, as I was saying before it cut off, um, all three entrances to the Spirit Temple crashed the game. So this one at the bottom and the two at the top. And the weird part is that um, you know, the treasure chests still trigger as they're supposed to. Um, you know, you just gotta be careful not to enter the doors. But, one of the weirder parts is, if you go in over there to the, um, silver gauntlets, if you go get those, um, the cutscene still plays, but either way, um, if you try to go in there or anywhere else, it will still crash the game. Okay guys, so here I am in um, Goron City here, and I figured I'd just mention that none of the loading zones here actually do crash the game, so I just figured I'd share that, just in case you're wondering. Um, yeah, not even the one to Death Mountain Crater, which is kind of hard to get to from there, that's why I'm going all the way around here, um, which is actually where we're going to be going, Death Mountain Crater. Uh, so... What I'm going to do here is just kind of float up for a little while here, and then eventually just start going forward. So it's going to be a little bit of a pain, but hopefully not too bad. Um, now, one of the reasons why this is really, in my opinion, one of the most interesting parts of this game demo here um, is because when you actually get in there, the bottom screen changes, and... I think it's just because one of the intro cutscenes takes place in Death Mountain Crater, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, so here Link is falling over to it. Now I don't have a ton of time to really show you the area, so I'm just going to kind of tell you them now. I'm gonna, You're going to occasionally see me use the plugins menu as sort of a pausing mechanism, since I only have, was it, like 24 seconds when I get in there. Which, by the way, if that's different from the full game, Feel free to tell me. I know I'm asking you guys to tell me a lot of stuff, but I just kind of want your feedback in this. Also, in the previous uh, bit of, bits of audio for this, you may have heard, like, a whoosh sound in the background. It's like there was a ton of rain. just started pouring a little while ago. But yeah, as you see, the bottom screen changes to press start. If I press start, nothing happens. So, that's what I find kind of interesting. Tap the touchscreen nothing happens so let me just tell you what areas crash the game I checked all the grottos everything seems to work fine the only two areas that crash the game are the fire temple and the fairy fountain so yeah in my opinion this is probably one of the more interesting um, little bits here oh, there's really not a whole bunch of time but I guess this will be kind of the uh, the end of it here so I believe this is the fairy fun No, it's not. It's the other one. My bad. <laughs> yeah, Link got all momentum cut off. But yeah. So this just goes to show you that when you die in here, 
it does just send you to the thank you for playing screen. And speaking of thanks for doing whatever, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, this is probably one of the videos that I spent a ton of time on, because I spent all day the one day um, looking for all these little locations, and it, it really did take a while. And one of the things that I don't get is, I have Luma custom firmware on my 3DS, uh, mainly because that's one everybody tells you to get, and it's really convenient, and just a lot more useful than a lot of the other custom firmwares that are out there, and some of the other ones are old. But, um, so yeah, I got Luma custom firmware, and the error message that shows up, like, I'll show you a picture of the normal one on screen here, but the error message that shows, uh, I can't even speak, the error message that shows up for me looks something like this. Actually, I'm going to just show you. Um, what would be the quickest way to crash from here? I'm trying to think. Maybe, hmm, I'm not sure actually. Maybe Zora's domain would be the quickest area to get to from here. So I'm just going to go there. The crash screen for me just looks kind of like this. Let me show you it. Um, I'm kind of curious actually if there's a way to turn this off in any of the Luma settings. But since I have Luma custom firmware, this is the crash message, crash message that I get. I can't even speak, sorry. But uh, here it is. So I don't know how to get the normal message back if there's a way to... But this is basically just what I get. So, yep, I guess this is a good way to end the video. So, thank you all for watching. Um, don't forget all that stuff in the comments. And if you want to download this NTR plugin that I compiled, um, I'll leave a link in the description for that. Thank you, Fort42, for, you know, uh, people posting all the cheats and whatnot. So, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.